My name is Dave Grantham. This is Prithvi, Shahi. Um, we put this on because we wanted to get all of the community of LibP2P in one place so that we could celebrate our victories up until this point and that we can concentrate and focus our energies on how we're going to grow this, both in importance and impact in the Web3 space and all across the internet going forward. 2024 is going to be a good year. I'm certain of it. All the numbers are showing up and to the right for LibP2P. We've had some wins we're going to cover today. We have a great program. And uh, I just want to say welcome. The first thing I want to point out is we do have an event telegram, and Prithvi is ordering all of you to join it right now. Um, one of the important things that we do is KPIs. We need to know roughly how many people are here um, at each of our events and participating in all the things that we organize so that we can see that we're being responsive to the needs of the community. And the best way for us to see that is attendance numbers going up. So please join this, maybe text, you know, send a message like, hey, I was at Lip P2P Day or something like that so we can just get a rough count. Um, so I'm gonna hand it over to Prithvi real quick. Right, you're the next slide. Yeah, welcome to Lip P2P Day. And uh, he's gonna go over our agenda. Yeah, next slide, please. Well, thank you everybody for attending. And everybody who's a speaker, I definitely you know, wanna shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for, for volunteering to speak. We're excited to hear your talks. Uh, and thank you to Dave for organizing the P2P Day. It's definitely not a small effort. Um, so if everybody could give a hand to Dave, round of applause. Uh, he's, he's, he's done a lot. He's done a lot behind the scenes. So shout out to, shout out to Dave. Um, so after this intro, uh, you know, we'll start the day off with a, a talk from Juan. He's going to give a project update. Uh, and then we'll have you know, a whole host of technical talks. So from building a censorship resistant infrastructure, with Waku and Lip P2P um, to talk on coordinating decentralized MEV actors, um, recon, um, synchronization protocol, uh, and, and, and a few more. And then we'll take a break at 4 p.m. till about 4.30. Uh, we'll reconvene in this room, and then we'll have some talks about open source funding, uh, Saab from Gitcoin and David Casey from uh, Funding the Commons. Um, and we'll end the day with a talk from Raul about road mapping and the vision for Loop P2P in the future. Um, that will lead us into a interactive community strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat analysis that Dave and I will lead. So it's going to be an opportunity for us to kind of identify, you know, what we think are the strong points of Loop P2P today, things that we can improve on, any opportunities that you know we may, you know, you know, seize. And then just threats, like things that maybe hurt the LibPDP narrative or things that you know, we can also kind of transform. Um, and then we'll conclude LibPDP day after that and we'll convene at Edge City. Cheers. Thank you. So I wanted to point out that uh, since the beginning of the year, I have, and Prithvi, with a lot of Prithvi's help and a lot of people from the Protocol Labs Network, um, we've all been working our butts off to reorganize the lib P2P community. This post-nucleation present and future for lib P2P um, is going to require a lot of getting things organized in place and um, focusing our efforts on the things that really matter in terms of our impact. And so I put this here just for the sheer <laughs> impact, the, the, the sheer volume of all of the things that have been attended to in the next, in the last two months. Um, but it all boils down to really three main efforts, okay? Last night, those of you who were already in the event uh, telegram got a message from me showing that we have a new website up. Now, it looks similar to the old one, I will admit, same theme and everything. But this is a community-oriented page for LibP2P, right? So these here are drop-down menus that get you links to all of our code repos and all of the different forums we have and our different chat uh, networks that we're in. And we are now actively marketing on Twitter slash X and Blue Sky. And so I'm probably going to go on to Mastodon here pretty soon. We have our community calendar on the web page now, so you can go to one place to see what's coming up next. Speaking of the calendar, we have moved everything over to Luma. So this is where you're going to find, like, see, this was taken this morning. We have LibP2P Day today. We have a JS LibP2P Open Maintainers call coming up. So this is all of the events related to LibP2P that we have currently. 
the thing I want to point out is that LibP2P going forward is about all of us. So if you have a project or a product or a company event or anything that's related to LibP2P that you want to get surfaced to the broader community, find me on Telegram, text me, whatever, find Prithvi. We can put it here and we can get it out in front of everybody. So if you want to market your personal event that's LibP2P related, we'll happily put it on the LibP2P calendar. And like I said, we were able to get on all of these platforms now. We already had a presence in GitHub, but they are now all unified. So they all have discussions for the technical implementations. They have technical discussions. Uh, we have community-wide discussions around um, on the libp2p main repo. The specs repo is for technical discussions across implementations. We have our good old, uh, where is it? discuss.libp2p.io. Uh, we now have a lot of traffic there. I'm there all the time, so if you ask a question, I can either connect you with somebody or answer it right away. Like I said, we're on Twitter and Blue Sky, and we are present, like we've always had a presence on Slack, and we've always had a presence on Matrix. These two are linked together, so it doesn't matter which one you go to, you can see the conversation. Um, but starting in January, we now have a, a vibrant libp2p community on Telegram, and I'm working to try to bridge that with Matrix and Slack, and the same with Discord. Okay, these QR codes around the room will get you onto the libp2p on Telegram, I think, and then also to our calendar and our event um, chat on Telegram. So this is sort of what has happened over the last two months, and there's more to come, right? We will start seeing a unified feeling about libp2p. About meetings and about implementations. As most of you know, we have libp2p implementations in various degrees of complete and completion in all of these languages, okay? I wanted to point out that we have active maintainer meetings for the Go, JS, and Rust libp2p, okay? But in the last month, I have reached out to the NIM libp2p community, which is very active, and they are interested uh, with our help to get them over into this column. So they're going to start engaging with a broader libp2p community. Um, the Java and the JVM implementation uh, is also interested in doing this. That's the Peer Piper uh, team and, and others. This is good, really exciting for me because this will give us Android presence, right? Uh, Paul Robinson and myself are personally reviving Python libp2p in the next two weeks. This will also be over in this category by the end of the month. I've been talking to Brandon Toms, who's the sole author of Swift libp2p. He has been a one-man show for two years. Two years, okay? And he's excited with the prospect of getting other people to help so that we can move that into that column as well. And then I also have contacts with .NET, and I haven't been able to find anybody that's ever written any C++ libp2p, but if you know them, let me know. I want to talk to them. And of course, we all know Marco. He's awesome. He should be back pretty soon. Hopefully, we can expand the Zib, Zig project and also get it into that calendar or that column. Um, our rule around here is that it's you plus two. So if you've got a project that's implementing libp 2 p it's you and two other people who are interested in showing up at that meeting, call me. I'll help you organize it. I'll get you onto the infrastructure. We'll get you on the calendar. And I'll show up, and we'll take no, you know, meeting notes, and we'll fold you into our active meeting calendar. So this is probably the coolest thing going on right now, it's getting meetings going so that people can find their homes and we can start growing all of these implementations across the board. This is, I think, our biggest opportunity for growth this year, including mobile platforms, <laughs> okay? And uh, web platforms, I think, is also gonna be a big fo focus. So I'm gonna hand it back over to, to Prithvi. I think I gave you like 30 seconds left, so. Wow. <laughs> so um, yeah, just wanted to do a quick pulse on the room, quick show of hands. Uh, next slide, Dave. So are anybody, any of the folks in here a libp2p implementer? You know, if you could raise your hand. If you've contributed to a libp2p implementation in any way, it could just be a, landed, a, a, any, landed any PR. Landed any PR, oh. Okay, <laughs> awesome.